hey guys welcome to the stream so um purpose of tonight's stream is to do a how to stream not to be how to be the best how to build or how to whatever it's basically just to give you an idea from a basic perspective so first bought the game what the game gives you and gives you an idea of how to use it as in grid pieces etc so we'll do like a, a single building and then we'll progress that building in different ways and different levels and so forth um and see how it comes out um i'm on for a couple of hours a few hours see what happens guys so i hope you enjoy hey david how you doing buddy so the only thing i have done is basically grid paved uh, the the floor out here and to basically do that you just select the grid that you already have and you basically just click away to your heart's content very simple very easy you have different kind of uh, path types so you can have wood if you wanted to you have a bit of tarmac or a bit of whatever you fancy um, and so on so with this one I've just gone with a natural cue just to basically start this off so what i was thinking was was just a toilet building and how you can develop that and so on into other other buildings um so i'm hoping by the end of tonight's stream we may have three or four buildings that are pretty much complete two of them most definitely um but we'll see so basically i thought going with a toilet um hey kayla how you doing so basically, just give myself a little bit of room, we'll do it in the middle here. So the game in its basic form, so let me just go custom and make sure in custom and then go content packs, main game only. There we go. So imagine you just bought the game five quid, you know, oh, let's go and see what this is all about. And you thought to yourself, well, let's build a toilet. Well, this, this is how how I used to do it. Um, and I can imagine a lot of people still do it when they first get the game. So you'll go to a toilet, you'll grab a toilet, and then you'll just you know put it down. So there's a few tools to be able to spin this as a basic. So if we press Z, it rotates the tool, and you'll see it'll automatically pick up the path that's closest to it. So, or we have, if you press X, you can then use the directional axis to uh, <laughs> cheers david um to place and you can go up and down and you can rotate it um there you go so however you want to do it so for, but in this instance we've just got the game we ain't got a clue what we're doing so you've got a thing called a grid now the grid basically is to make it very easy to align the pieces to the building in a very very simple form so if we now go to building and we'll go, I haven't got a clue what it's going to give me, so you have to bear with me, guys. Um, we don't even have any wood in its basic form. Surely we do. Yes, we do. So we'll go for painted wood. And then what a lot of people do is grab, grab the wool piece and basically go, do you know what? I'll change the colour to a more brown. Let's go. Is it brown? bit better and then we'll do it like this and then you can rotate it by the z key and then we kind of want a front to it so if you click on arches and if we just type in wood this isn't basic stuff is it because i haven't got hold on main game yeah we still got wood good um, so this type of wood is the painted wood. So what a lot of people do is they'll change the colour of the green to, I don't know, just for the benefit of this blueprint we'll go for a dark, a, a dark orange. And then what we'll do, we'll put a roof on it. So we'll just go to roofs and then we'll grab a roof and we'll put it on. And then you realize that you've got to fill the triangular pieces. So you'll go back to the wall pieces. And we want painted wall. And I think we want a two meter gable end. 
we'll put one in there and you'll also notice if you hold shift you can raise and lower the piece and on the right hand side here you can change the height of that piece if you need to but for the benefit of this little blueprint we're not going to do that so and then you'll go do you know what i need a sign so we'll go toilet there's no toilet signs in the main oh hold on there we are and then i know we're going western with this but just because it's a toilet and it's main game only i would then use the advanced key just to kind of put it where you kind of want it so that's kind of how you know people do it you know when they first get the game so that's, that's how i did it uh, there's a blueprint actually where i did a pirate one and all i did was i put some planks of woods on wood on there stuck the uh spire out of it and yeah <laughs> called it a pirate toilet but i actually i think i did have a blueprint once uh that i made where is it? there it is here is my very first blueprint that i ever did there you go so that actually is quite interesting because there you go i've built what i first built in the game the only difference is i use different wood pieces that's quite bizarre um and i use this sign instead of instead of that sign so actually what we'll do is we will just get rid of that one because that's just an in-game piece anyway and then we'll put it on the axis we'll just we'll just stick it there for now so you know you kind of sit there and go yeah this game's cool that does the job perfect what's next we'll build something else so what i've learned over the years is you can actually manipulate this into something as well just to give it a little bit more of a dynamic uh just with the standard game pieces so for instance what we'll do we will copy that and we'll just drag that here and we'll grab that so first thing i'm going to do is we are we're basically just going to make this look a little bit bigger um nothing major just a bit more detail just to give it that more western-esque kind of touch to it um and just add in a couple of levels like with the sign put the sign in a, a little bit more of a better position so what you then want to do is you want to select the roof and you want to click this little button here which says split from building now what you can do with this now is if we x key it you'll see at the end of that wood uh, roof you got a little overhang here now so many people um how can you put it beam up the end of the roof really there's no need um because you have these which are three pieces plus you'll need two four six eight to do it where you only need two roof lines so if we then grab the roof and what we'll do here is we will advance move and duplicate so control x and then we'll just copy another roof and we'll do the same at the back okay but one thing you'll notice this starts to shimmer because it's on the same pixel so if you literally just grab the height and lower it down by one that then disappears but instantly just compared to this building and all we've done is add one extra bit you can see how just that aperture coming over the edge there gives it a little bit more of a dimension so what you could then also do is if we go back to building and we go to wood and we just select the normal wooden pillars because they're the standard in-game stuff actually what we'll do we'll select uh this particular column here just to cover up this uh centerpiece so just using the x tool again just to place that in um and to be fair i could go over just a tiny bit and what i always try and do guys is when i'm using the wood i use try and use different types of wood as well because for some reason well not for some reason um but if you select this color and then go to this piece of front piece here and we select the same you'll see it's a totally different color so you have to play around with the makeup to try and get them to suit uh, as in be the same so we got 
we got that look now. That's good. What you could do if you wanted to is actually grab the roof and the front piece and slide it out a bit, like so. So again, it just extends that that kind of look of the building, makes it feel a little bit bigger. Um, but then we'll take a step back to the wood and we'll just grab the pillars. Now, I use these on a building at a 45 degree angle. Only reason being is, is once you've kind of placed it, it's it's at the right axis, should we say. Um, and you'll see here that I always try and raise them up to where the beam is, you know. Um, just because you are saving piece count. Because you're not having to put as many in. So on this one, actually, I just need to lower it a tad so that it goes into the ground. So we're not going to be able to do that. But hey-ho. What I'm also not doing is putting them on the bridge. So that's all done. And then what we can also do with these is copy these. And if we bring them out to the end... Just again gives it another little bit of a level or what you can do is if we press X again do a 45 degree angle and then what we can do is sink it sink it sorry into uh, the building as you can see here it's it's stuck down the side so if we grab them individually just pull them in a little bit same with this one there we go and then what we want to do is grab another pillar and we want to have a vert uh, horizontal section going across here sorry. as well as here and then what we need to do is just move these up a tiny bit just so that everything is you know aligned correctly um, and then what we'll also do with the roof is just add a slight uh, overhanging aperture, if you know what I mean. Uh, mine's have a problem with using shift. It drops the piece instead. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on there, David. Um, where am I? Where was I? Sorry. Um, so just do a little overhang on here. So basically, if we go back to the roof, when we go to roof trims, you then have these little beauties here, which basically you do need to change the grid height and then you can just plonk that if you get it about i'll have to show you a little trick here guys so if we z just to rotate it we can get it on the same axis here so if i grab those and separate them from the building what we can then do is line it up perfectly And then what we will do, um, we'll separate these as well because they're not necessarily in the exact position you want them for some unknown reason. So if you line it up there, and then we do the same here, what we can then do is copy it again to the back and just give it a little pop down just so it stops the flickering guys yep so you'll notice the whole way through this i'm using as big a pieces as possible you know um so again that that makes it feel a little bit more detailed probably not it is still a bit western um, but what I do is I just go into scenery and I type in Western and see what comes up. So we could put one of these on here, for instance. Probably put it in a more central position. There you go. And one thing I do is also go to a little bit further extent, just make sure that it is lined up and it's not clipping and it's perfect. 
So the other thing the game doesn't do is cover up these interiors. So I, I don't think, oh, you can change the color. So we could change it to brown if you wanted to, just to kind of give it that more subdued look. Or you can go one step further and cover it up with, I don't know, some wood or, or whatever you wanted to do. So if I go back to wood here, well, it should do, nope. I have to type in scaff. Ooh, do you not have scaffolding in the main game? Interesting. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> it's a challenge. There must be somewhere, surely. Or what you can do is just use any form of wood paneling you wish to use, really. I tend to try and use not uh, grid pieces. So it's, it's all personal preference. Um, but you have so many different types of wood finish. So for instance, I, I love this wood finish. It's a bracket that you would use. So for the floor, what we can do is plonk that there. I hope, if I can. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. No, nope, that won't work. So what we'll do is, we have to do it the other way. So if we then... I'm just trying to think. If we do a little curve there... Because then... We are... Do I want a curve there? Or do I want to try and get... Where's the curve? There's the curve. So if we do the curve there... And we do the curve there... And then raising this just a little bit. And we're also going to put it back and forth just so that we don't get that little bit on the outer edge. Um, there we go. So there you go. Floor's done now. So we've got to think about the walls. So you then kind of think, eh, what should I cover it up with? Should I just use like a, a paneling or something like that? I mean, we could just use this and turn it the other way. And then basically put it to a more desirable color maybe not so dark maybe not so yellow a little bit more paler to go with the floor maybe there we go and then we'll just sink that again literally until everything's covered there we go and then keep it in the same position and then just rotate it the other way and then you can do the same there and probably as it's on the same axis cover up what's available and then we are back into the center area so there you go so that now is fully wood should we say um and then what we need to do is grab these and we need to control x to copy them and then I've got to grab that one and we've got to rotate that inward like so and then we've got to grab that one and then we're going to turn these upside down and basically that's going to give us a ceiling hey Maud, how are you? Um, and then that gives us that we'll, give it, we'll bring it down just a tad might as well and then we can just lower actually bring that out on that and then gives that a little bit more depth so there you go so that gives you an idea of what you can do with just standard in-game pieces just to transform uh, a building and then what you could do if you wanted to is put like a side door on there and and uh, what you call it a, a window maybe the other side um, just to give it that more detailed look so from a door perspective i always find this one's quite good because it's quite small where and that one so again it depends on what kind of vibe you're looking to get but we could put this at the back here just to give it a little bit evening chris how are you you all good glad you're good maud um and then with the window side of it you kind of it's the game's not too bad but um what i tend to find when you have small buildings like this it's best to the problem is that door's too small 
because all the others are too. I'm sure they're too. They're smudged. What's going on here? I don't know. I'll tell you what it is. It's because I haven't got. I haven't got these two back here. There we go. So again, you don't have to really worry too much about the back, subject to what you're doing. And I'm not going to go into that on this particular building, because we'll do that on the next next couple. Um, but you can see just there, you know, you, you start the game literally looking at it and doing the tutorials and trying to figure it all out. Um, and you don't have to use grid pieces in the way that the game is designed. You know, you can manipulate them, have them as single pieces and put them exactly where you want it. Um, but that just gives you a, a, a little bit of an idea of where you can go with things in a very, very simple fashion. Um, and then we could just put a you know, window to suit there, I guess. Um, and I'm just trying to think what else we could do. Where's that wood beam? If it's in the standard game, which it's... Um, it is. Thank you. So what we could do... I really like these pieces because you see we did the roof, the ceiling here. So if we do this, what we can do is just add something without really adding something. You know what I mean? It just adds that little bit of detail. But then what you can do with that in a second. Pretty, pretty cool. So where are we? So if we do a couple of windows this side then. So if we do where are we? Uh, there. So if we exit, so that's it. It's the same level. And then you've got your two windows. And then what we could do is put um stone. Of these just to give it that little bit more detail i mean obviously you may have something else coming down the side here maybe i'm, I'm not too sure but if we put that one central then what we can do with this one is just bring that up so that it's underneath here and then what i'd do is put some rope on there just to give it that little bit of a difference um, but what i'll try and do is make it look as though it's wrapped around See what I mean? And then possibly put one um, just on the end here, just to give it that little teeny weeny bit of detail. Uh, and possibly have that. Just dangling down from there and again it just adds a little bit of detail you know you stick a rock there and stuff and before you know it you, you've got yourself a little outhouse now this is something you obviously wouldn't have on like a main stretch you'd have this i don't know at the end of a coaster or something like that uh in Thunderland, i pretty much uh magic kingdom that i just finished hey phantom how you doing oh yeah i forgot about them um but I was going to bring those into the other builds. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know why you'd have a smokestack on a, kit on, on, a on a toilet. But anyway, um, but you could have that, for instance, on the back here. And do one a little bit higher, maybe. No, you only need one. More of a vent gap, I think, for the toilet. <laughs> but it just adds that another little bit now what i what i would do and i know i said uh where was it what i want to do is grab this because you'll notice i've lost that beam in here now because i pulled this one out so if i bring this one in and then just lower that down one we've now got completely 
beamed piece there and I've only used one piece to do it instead of four traditional pieces so again it's just those little bits uh, but all in all where are we 46 piece build there you go against nine <clears throat> so a bit more pieces I know um, but you know I, I would normally chuck probably another five to ten pieces with lights included and bits and bobs so again that's cool now what we could do is go one step further with that and just make it something a little bit different so you've got a western area in your park for some reason because this is all off grid so i need that off that off that off grab one oh I can't grab the roof so we'll just copy that across there we go so one one thing I try and do is always have like a, a slightly extended building on it so instead of just having the toilets at the front here what I would do um, is I would move the toilets out the back oh hold on undo thank you Edit building with selected part. Perfect. So I would move that back one. Or I might even <clears throat> do it like this. And then, yes, okay, you can say that I've done all this work, etc. That it's going to be a pain. But the advantage is, is if we just delete. Because there's no point trying to use it. It's just easier the other way around. So, here I am saying I don't always use grid. But... If we use the grid in this instance, just to show you how easy it is to transform a building into something that just looks that little bit more detailed. Um, um, I'll go from there really, guys. as you can see all I'm doing is actually using more pieces so the other thing as well is obviously I've skinned the interior for the toilet so obviously we can potentially get rid of those because we don't need them um, and then the floor we just got to finish up Hey Scarlett, how are you doing? So what you might want to do with this one is um I'm just trying to think. I was gonna I was gonna do something different. I was gonna put a uh, western piece on the front there. So where are they? They're not western, they are painted. So you have a series of kind of roof lines that you can use um, that again just add another level of detail if you wanted to go this route instead of actually having it as a as a thing but generically what you would use these for is like higher buildings should we say so you got to remember these buildings you, you got to ig ignore the back end of it because basically there's Obviously, you would put trees, rocks, boulders, or you'd have another building come around the corner here, etc. Um, you know, so. But but for the practice of this, what we will do is we will basically make it quite easy. Um, so, roof wood, um, and then what we want to. Do is grab the fixed roof. There we go. Now remember, we want to take this one off the axis, and we want to sort of move this one out just enough to get that overhang shadow extra detail for free. And then what we want to do is move that pretty much to there. See, 
you get that nice kind of L-shaped dog leg look to it. And then again, just lower it down just a tiny bit just to get rid of the flickering noise. So there you go. So we've got a slightly longer building now. Um, what we do want to do is the same with these. So just deselect that and get that to overhang. And then what we need to do is copy that and then just lower it that tiny, tiny bit. Just to cover that gap up in the middle and you'll see there's no flicker there now. So this, this is how I build. I try and build as clean as possible. So the real cool thing is now the guy the, they actually have to go into the building now. So you're adding theater to it. You know, you're adding a reason to go into that building. Um, so if we just grab the path and we go back down to a four meter path. Now we'll come off there. Now you'll see I've placed one. So if I go select grid now and click that, what it then does is it enables me to come off there at the correct angles. But like the game always does, you then just have to put a little nobbin in just to just to sort that out. Alright. But from a basic point of view, that kind of looks quite cool. So now what we could do is just add those little bits in that give it that more detailed look. Um, we'll put a bigger door on here. There we go. And again, this, this is all minimal work, guys. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's really down to how you want your park to perform, um, but at the same time, how you want it to look. And if you have enough detail in there, it, um, it, it just pops, as you know, guys. So, but what I'm gonna do here is not actually have that overhang. What I'm gonna do is actually use the beam to finish these bits off, just because it gives it a little bit more of a, a cleaner look should we say but there are other bits you can do with that as well so. the whole point to doing this slightly differently to the other one is just to give you guys the ideas that you don't always have to do the same kind of thing you know you can do different and it, and it does work so you haven't got to worry about the back, unless the back is seen, because obviously if it's seen, that's when it becomes a problem. But if you're not too fussed about like that, like myself, I um, I, I kind of ignore what's around the back. So the reason why I haven't done in here is because piece count really. So we could do we could do basically what we've done with this one, which would be perfect. So let's. Let's just do that, just because it's easier that way, just to show you guys. So if I now take that, make sure it doesn't come through there, which it doesn't, which is perfect to this little ledge. And then we will So what I always try and like to do as well is always in the corners have uh, like an angled piece just because the peeps never go there anyway in the corner and plus it kind of gives it that little look as though it's turning. Uh, so again personal preference. I also try and do as much as possible is use as much of the pieces in respect of like you know what I could do with this which I should do is rotate it and then bring it back through because what that should do which it doesn't because it's an identical pattern that should that should have broke that up but it didn't anyway ignore me guys so need to copy that copy that Um. 
there. So this is all looking a bit hitch, if you want to call it at the minute. Um, so we'll, we'll sort that out in a second. But what we can also do is just change the way we've we've laid this out. And it is literally as simple as, you know, a click and a copy and a paste. Um, purely because of the cell that I, I aspire to. Um, I'm actually going to go a bit out of my comfort zone tonight. <laughs> potentially do interior detailing uh, on the next few builds. Or the last build, one of the two. Um, but you can see with this, guys, these three buildings, yes, they're very similar. Yes, they look samey, but they're all different in their own unique way. Um, but what you're seeing is a progression as I developed through the game as well. So I, I was literally, if you ever look at Pyrolandia, my first first park, you'll see a number of buildings about this side. And, and all I literally did was um, got the driftwood because obviously it was a pirate park. And I just went like this, literally. I just went like that stuck a bit upright just so it gave it a bit of detail and you could say that looks a bit western but me that's more pirate that type of wood um but again when i first started literally building um that was how my buildings were and then i went into a little bit of detail and i thought oh hold on a minute let's let's make them look a little bit more detailed um and then as as you go through you just start to understand what the game does and what it can do so we actually want a small one on here so again like adding these little I don't know what you want to call them cranes or whatever they are um again it adds a shadow onto the building it just adds detail and again we could put more rope down here up a bit just to have it sitting on there um you know you, you can do anything to your heart's content um and then what we could do is where's the old where's the old thingy here and then just kind of burns it off a little bit and I guess you could kind of have a few rocks and a little campfire or something around there and change it up however you wanted to, you know? But it's kind of what what I do is just build from there. I mean, literally I started and we went into a little bit of detail because my computer got a bit better and then we got into something else. Um, I suppose I better finish these really, but... But again, it's, it's just adding the, that level of detail you want to add to the park. You know, you don't have to do this. This is just literally giving you guys a bit of an idea of how easy it is. Because I know to a lot of people, towards the end of Thunderland, people were looking at it and going, how or how have you done this? And it's just time, 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 time. And again, just going back to these wood pieces and just sorting out the corners of these buildings, making it just look a little bit more um, detailed, I guess. You know, you, you can literally continue to your heart's content, um, but that's the thing I love about the game. Um, if we were to put, I don't know, one of these here, it just, it just adds something, you know. What I also try and do as well is with the scenery, whenever you're looking at a building of mine, I always try and have something like, like a pyramid look because what it does is it elongates the, the lower section of the building. It makes it look wider than it is, for instance. So you can basically, without having to build a building as a pyramid, you can literally use it with the design of the features and everything, you know. Um, but again, all personal preference. There you go. 
and that's just for a toilet. So what started out as just a single hut building, you can transform a little bit and then you can take it one step further and just make it that little bit more immersive. And then what I would do is I would just either do a little step here um, or a, what should we call it? Let me just do a step to be honest. But what I'd do is I'd make it a step that's kind of point to that step being there so i wouldn't just have like a little bit like that i'd have it a little bit further out because again it's just dragging the, the floor print of the building out a little bit but yeah so that's that's kind of how how i look at it and how i do it um and then what you can really do is go into crazy things you know you can basically build a kind of i don't know a saloon or something like that so if we just extend this bit here. Now what I'm going to do is take away the main game. Because obviously this now will be including all DLC and everything else. So um, I think this will be kind of the last build of this I think guys. Um, and then what we'll do, we will just create a little path down here, just so it kind of makes sense. Hope you guys can hear me all okay and everything's all good. So, what we want to try and do actually... Um, okay, if we change this to wood... What I'd love to try and do is get this corner, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let's have a look. Oh, I am. So, what we're going to do is we are going to build a saloon and we're going to make it a usable saloon with toilets and whatever else you want to try and get in there basically um so do, oh no, that's totally the wrong spot we need to do it from there really okay so if we select the grid what you'll see is i have raised the floor up now I think it's a slightly obscure angle, which it is, so we'll just back that up. Deselect grid, and then I think that should do it. Oh. is if you don't get this straight with the paving it's just not going to happen so how am I going to do this I know I'm going to do this I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to come off here I'm going to go up I'm going to go flat and then I'm going to grab delete that grab that grid So, my thoughts are here is to we get rid of that now. And we do that. Go up. Left. Stop doing this to me. Why? to do that I want it to go up now but I want it to go ah planet coaster guys you gotta love it see look now what I want it to do don't 
Do what? Get rid of you, 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 get rid of you. Thank you. There we go. And we'll go deselect up. Upper rim. How high is that? Will it let me do it? It's not going to let me do it, is it? So we've got to go even higher. This is going to take a little bit longer to do, guys. Um, right. How do we want to do this? So, we're going to have the entrance. In here. And then, can we fit... No worries, Phantom. Cheers, buddy. I think this is kind of giving what I was trying to portray, guys, just to show the levels that you can go through to change things and make things look different and so on. Um, Bathing, yes, can be stressful, Phantom. Most definitely, my man. Um, right, so let's do... I don't know what do we want to do. Let's just do... Soda. So, what we'll do with this, guys. I doubt I'm going to be able to do this, because I've got a feeling it's going to... Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, hold on. Can we do this? Oh no, look. That tiny, tiny bit. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Right, okay. That works well then. And does that shine through? Yes, it does. Typical. Yes. Okay. So if we do a soda there, and we'll do a food joint and we'll do where's Mexican Mexican do that there it's good day and then we'll put a toilet block yeah now right okay so we got a basic floor plan and layout so um we actually open as a park we are open we got no limit we just got nothing in here have we so and the only purpose of this is to kind of make it look as though there's a uh, an upper deck to the saloon you know what i mean um so again guys this is taking just the the whole loo toilet thing just one step further so what i want to do is obviously build a building on the edge of this kind of veranda here or however you want to say it um intersection and basically make it uh so that you go in and you can you've got this staircase at the back and then you look up and you've got this banister you've got the obviously the ceiling um 
and just just to really put it into perspective what you can achieve with it so i think over the next hour or so we'll get this building done um and then that'll be kind of it and the reason being is is this will be what i do now so but this was just to give you kind of that progress that you do when you originally get the game that's how the game teaches you to build is to use grid pieces you can then add accessories to it overlap the roofs you can then extend the building make it more of a feature where people walk in and out and obviously you get to see that instead of just having the entrance on the door here um, and then you go to kind of the final step of how you do it with any area really um, you know it's only every now and then that theme parks where you do have toilets off to the areas but you also have them obviously in the areas where you have entertainment or stuff like that so yeah um what we'll do we'll just bung a ride in i don't know what i've got i've got nothing really um just do the F1. This isn't how you do it properly, guys, by the way. <laughs> Uh, like I said it was just really to give people a little bit of an idea you know at the end of the day th this isn't teaching you how well I guess it is but it's also just giving you different techniques because everybody builds differently at the end of the day there's no one specific way how to build in this game and, and we know that um and what I mean by that is the progressment I've made with my parks over the years. It, it's just, it gets transformed every single time I, I build a park. It's just the way I do it. Um, there you go, park's open now. So, right. I've just got to quickly pop for a comfort break, guys. So my deepest sincere apologies. I will be back in uno momento. I'm back, guys. Isn't it coming straight into the park and using the loose? See what I mean, though? Just by the difference, the levels, the way you can do the roofs. Face pigeon. Pigeon full of... Face full of pigeon, eh? But it's just adding those little details that just make it lift. You know, you don't even have to do it that high. You know, you could actually lower them down. I do that quite a bit, actually. Um, just to make them not look so tall as individual buildings, if you know what I mean. But then when you get to big buildings like this, you then got a little bit be, be a little bit more imaginative, imaginative. So basically, the way I, the way I do these is um, grab a piece of wood, 
uh, wood flooring most of the time. Like sometimes I use this, and the reason being is is because it's a four meter piece. So, um, what we will do is the same again. So we'll create a little veranda. Um, just wondering how high to go. So we grab that thick wood piece again. Take that. Put that like that. And then always rotate them once because they do have slightly different finishes so they don't look so repetitive. Um... Quite high, high step that, isn't it? I guess we can go with that. I guess that'll do. Maybe one more just for luck. It's a bit high. Uh. Right. Okay, so grab all that, that. Frustrating. Okay, so the entrance bit is going to have to be a bit different. So, I think I've done this all wrong, guys. <laughs> Here I am building live. Ah, oh, hate it. Especially when you're not building for any particular reason, like as in a park. Right, okay, so the way we're going to have to do this then is a little bit different. So if we pause the game up, get rid of all this paving. And we're going to do this a very different way to what I have just done, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise the terrain. About... there what we are going to do is we are going to grab this now i know you're kind of sitting there thinking what ryan what on earth are you doing um bear with me guys three blocks raise those Oh, why won't it let me play some? Excelente. Excelente. Oh, let's get rid of that. Terrain. That's some more sensible height now. Plus, hoping that we can smooth this bit out. And I'm hoping we won't get too much of an issue when it comes to doing all this, hopefully. You get those annoying... That's fine, that's good.
we deselect grid. Right, it's a much more manageable height now. Ah, oh, we got a dip here, look. Oh, how annoying. Slightly bigger. Right. Why is that going down? Because I've done smooth, not foundation. Thank you. Right. Okay. Hundredth time lucky, guys. So we'll leave that as that. That's fine. So, copy that. Hold on. Let's do this another way. Bring this all down to pretty much. So. Hoping that we can just What? You just said I could. What's going on? That's all right, actually. That's fine. Okay. Right. Hey, James. How are you? Yeah, the only downside to the rotor is that it, it continues that noise of an engine, which is the unfortunate thing, if you know what I mean. So, I hate this kind of natural terrain anyway. Um, so, what I normally have. Interesting. Hmm. Want to get rid of those little pop-up things? That's all.
There you go. So you're getting a fairly seamless experience already. I know obviously they're glitching through the floor, but that's Planet Coaster, I'm afraid. Um, so what we need to do is... Is that in upper tad? Right, okay, so uh, let's do this another way. One, two, three. Um, There we go, stop the flicking. Right, so there's the foundation, guys. Um, we're just going to try and see if we can do this roof, which we can, which is good. It's all good. It's a shame about this piece here. Can we try and get that to... Oh, 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 we, we had it then. Where was it? There it is. So we'll have to have it as a ramp. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Because what that avoids is basically height. So it then doesn't make this too big a structure by having that as a slightly less angle than this. But Yeah. Right. Now to start, guys. Hmm. Nice. Okay. So, uh, right, so there's a lovely post, which is this one. And I think what we'll do is we'll go with. We'll, we'll just go with the green and brown look and not too fast. Um, and what we will do, we'll put it on the second step down. This one we'll put on the angle. Do the same there. Right, so we're getting a baseline in anyway. Um, so that's a lot. So now we need uh, uh, exterior, should we say. Um, what I want to try and do is make it look so that we can see through the building. Um, so I 
think we'll go with we'll go with the is it this one? Yeah. Or is that a bit old looking? No, I don't want to do. Right. Okay. So that is our point. So. So I thought so, guys. There'll be uh, obviously uh, windows, um, and then we want archway. I think it's this one, which is the worst. Okay, it is what it is. So, we are more than likely going to have to move these out a bit because that's a bit wide. So, what I'm going to do then is if we that, 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 take that off, and then what's your end about that wide, I reckon? <laughs> Go about there, maybe. <sighs> right, um, okay, back to here. I'm hoping we can get away with using one of these. I'm hoping. Doubt it. No, it's, it's too thick. Too wide. Um, I can... We could use that one. Oh no, it's wrong one. Hold on, that one. Gonna be a big old building this guys.
How is this happening? Let's be then. You must search us as a mala. Nice to meet my people. Tamula is a Marfa Tutela? And I must say, under are an Alma Pado. They do say the most random things, don't they? Right. Last. Probably. I haven't played much Sims to be honest with you. In 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 literally all honesty. Um, right. I'm just trying to think what bits of wood I want to use for this. And Lucy, 
Kasperer wurde für Safi zensiert. Die Frieden ist ja alles. Von Schaut haben wir viel Romas. Sag mal, fahren auch die Zeit alles zu? Von du nicht von mir. Tamula is a merchant of Tella? But I must say, under our too thick that stuff isn't it it's far too thick uh, what else can you use this in the game uh, so what, let's just use beams. I think the easiest way to do it. And I'm just, I'm, oh, I'm struggling. Why am I struggling? Um, that's what we do need, actually, is these down the middle. There we go, guys. See, so you kind of get what I mean. Excuse me, but with the vibe that you kind of have to go for. Um, 
And I think once we get a dirt decal on, in there, just to show you. Uh, dirt. And if we put that there. I don't know where the window is. Where's the window? How cool is that? Adds that little bit of a dirt look to it. Look at that. It's so good. Right. Ooh. You just say I could I bet your ass. I'm sure he said that. Ich bin 
a Merla. Hold Gosse no. Then come on, Gus Balan. He does Mondal in Laund of Will. If I can, I will say that. To say a double nail on it, to Yemen and Jamila in the dust of the hood. You're a fan of Peter Dunnerstock. Has to earth her until I leave him. The under villa, La Marino Gudo? Sorry about going a bit, excuse me, sorry, going a bit quiet guys, um, just uh, concentrating a little bit.
I wonder why they're struggling then. I mean, they don't... Excuse me. I don't think they use the staff houses, do they? When you haven't got a staff happiness on. I'm sure there were saloon doors. Why do they have to make it so hard, guys, eh? Why? Can't use that. It's too big of an opening to have a door anyway, so that's the most frustrating thing about it. See, these are the firehouse doors. They're too... Ah, same old, same old issues. Same old issues every day with this thing. So basically then what that's telling me is this is far too high. Oh. I mean, they are, it is far too high. I need to lower it down. Um, Bit of an oversight, man. Oversight. It would be. It would be so nice. Um, but that I didn't realise how high that was for some reason. That's good though. What I need to do is lower it down. Not a huge issue. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, I know that we haven't probably finished this off. Um, but we'll come back for a part two and do that. I'm just um. I'm very, very tired. Uh, I got a new job and I start Tuesday night and it's working nights. So I'm just trying... Yesterday I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning, but then I was back up at half past eight. So I only had four hours sleep last night. So I'm a little bit um, lagging tonight, to be honest with you. Um, but that's that's starting to come on now. So... Yeah, it gives you an idea, guys, in the amount of detail that goes into it. I've got to sort out the height. That is a little bit of an issue. Um, the glitching is what the glitching is. I don't try. I normally try and do that, but it works. It does the job. Um, 
but yeah no guys i want to thank you for joining the stream and if anybody's worked watching back i hope this has been fairly helpful for you but it just gives you an idea of where you can go and what you can do with the game when you start to get to things like this to be honest with you i should have looked at the perspective first of all i need i need to lower those down because basically that's now built on that platform so it makes it super high so it's probably about a foot foot and a half higher than it would normally be it needs to sit about here these need to come down um so yeah so guys um thank you very much for joining the stream i sorry i'm finishing it early and not finishing it off but uh that's life unfortunately but um yeah kayla thank you for joining phantom if you're there james scarlet guys really really appreciate it um and i will be back building on a more regular basis very very soon once i've just had a little break from uh the year and a bit that we just put into Thunderland magic kingdom but the park's doing very well it's number one on the steam workshop at the moment and um yeah we're nearly there at the four ma thousand four magic <laughs> magic four thousand hours for youtube as well guys but um i'll leave with that little picture just there the little three huts we did and then working into something a little bit more different but you can already see here just being able to see these peeps through here it just transforms the look of it um and again you've got them going in here you've just got them popping in popping in going in going in shopping sitting down eventually and everything so it works but yeah guys thanks for watching the stream please do hit the like that's the only thing i'll ask of you and the only reason being is it's completely free of charge so i appreciate it um if you've enjoyed it please do if not no worries but um yeah catch you later guys have a lovely day morning evening sleep wherever you are in the world guys speak to you very soon bye bye <laughs>